So, after the battery solder installed in the disc, press the button and hold it to switch on the disc. Learning complete. Disc activated and synchronized. Proceed to games. So, this is the startup sequence. The duration of the sequence depends on the duration of the audio being played. So, I'll show you the other one. So, right now, there is Darth Vader font being selected. So, once I press the startup button, I'll show you the dark side. So, now you can see the difference. The duration of the startup sequence is based on the duration of the startup audio being played. To copy the sound fonts into the disk, you need to switch off the disk first. To switch off the disk, in the default mode, double press the button. Select mode. Go to select mode and long press the button and leave it. So you see this switch off sequence. Now the disk is in switch off and standby mode. So I'll connect a USB type C cable to the charging port. So here uh, my disk is opened as F drive. So inside this there are two folders, audio player files and disk files. So in this folder, these are files which you need to play on the audio player in the desk. So you can copy the WAV files here. So I have this. So next is the disk files. So here you have all the fonts, the sound fonts. The numbering is just to make sure it is in the order in the standard selection mode. So for example, if I want this sound. Under, take a shot! Finish the game! As a startup sequence on my desk for Ringsler. So what I'll do is I'll use this free software called Audacity. The link will be in the description for the download. So I'll open this file and go to file, export, export as well. And I'll go to the F Cloud disk files and Linsler. I'll save it as the startup.wav. The file does not exist, you need to type startup.wav here and say I'll replace this so once I start the desk so if I go to the folder default font you can see there are various files here as you can see if I go to clue for example there are many files missing if the files are missing, it will automatically take from the default font with the same file names. There is another file called settings.txt. So there are very various settings to be changed if you want to. So this is the auto off timer. When the disk is in default mode, so when you want the disk to be switched off, within a time frame so you can change this so all the descriptions are given here the disk goes to a sleep mode once the disk is switched off so after the sleep duration is over it will completely switch off once the disk is in sleep mode you can just press the button once to start the disk so once the sleep duration is over and the disk is fully switched off you need to press and hold the button for up to 3 to 4 seconds to switch on the disk so this is the time see if in case you want to set the time for the desk you can change the time here for your current time in your location and switch on the disk the clock will uh, show the time here so once the clock has been fully switched off for example the sleep duration is over and the fully switched off the time will be reset so you need to uh, enter the time again so if you want to uh, want the disk to be displayed as a clock and uh, the clock has to be running uh, continuously so you need to plug in the charger continuously so if you remove the charger and the sleep duration is over so the time will be reset 
so this is the graphic equalizer again so when you are in the graphic equalizer mode so depending on the distance of the desk from your speakers or the volume of the speakers you can adjust the gain uh, to get your desired effect so this is bluetooth always on setting so in case you want the bluetooth to be always on or uh, you can set this to one so this is wi-fi always on so that means the remote control option is always on in this so you can set it to zero if you don't use the uh, wi-fi remote control so this is the wi-fi channel in case you're facing any uh, slowness or uh, lagging or any kind of issues in the remote control from your phone so you need to change this uh, wi-fi channel to these values Uh, so that uh, the Wi-Fi uh, will not be interfered with the existing Wi-Fi at your home. So you need to experiment with this, uh, which number works best at your place. So this is the initial smooth swing hum phone. In the default mode, you can see that uh, there is a smooth uh, swing hum sound. If you don't want that sound to be there, you can just make this zero. So this is the overall volume of the desk so which you can change so these are the settings you can change this uh, settings file and save it and close it and once you to start the disk you can just simply press the button uh, the disk will start